Play Whiskey Wednesday Round 11, the memory game. Until June 26, each week you can win one of our 12 incredible grand prizes. Select two doors at checkout. And if they match on drawing night, you'll win that bottle. Not a match? No worries. You still score a Weller 12-year. Every $5 ticket gives you five chances to win, including four weekly bonus prizes. Get your tickets now at give270.org. Charitable Gaming License ORG 0002703. For this Whiskey Quickie, we're looking at Hill Rock Estate. Now, this is one of a very unique type of whiskeys where they focus a lot on Solera aging as well as cask finishing. So what we're looking at here with this one, it is a blend of, well, for as much as we know, it is a blend of their own distillate plus a source product. The proof is coming in at 58.4%, which Ryan, you do math. What is that? 116.8, Kenny. There we go. So there's my human calculator right there. There you go. And the price is also around $120 SRP. And this is going to be the exceptional cask number one. Surprised you can fit your hands on that big wide bottle. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's I, can, I, I can't palm a ball, but at least I can palm this bottle. So yep. we got that going for us. <laughs> yep. There you go. All right. So <laughs> let's go ahead and, oh, the shutdown's been uh, finished in Oloroso Sherry casks. So right. when we see this, you can see the, the bottle count on here. This is number 393 of 396. A lot of bottles in there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. So on the nose, where are we at here? Man. Kind of reminds me of like, if you get like a charcuterie board with like, you got salty, fatty meats with like fruity and cheeses on it. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that. With a little bit of like the, I don't get any Dijon mustard. Like the fig jam. and Fig like, jam. That's, know, what I was like, I was, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. And then, yeah. What's, what's your favorite cheese on a charcuterie board? The white one. <laughs> the white one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I always like Parmesan and uh, I like uh, the creamy goat cheeses or... Breeze, I don't Breeze, know. I'm a yeah. sucker for that shit. All right. Oops. On the taste, what are you getting here? The cherry comes real through on the really palate. Does. There's some real young notes still on the back end. Um, but the front mid palate, you get a lot of young ripe fruit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And the finish? Uh, Kind of just dives off, really, for me. Yeah. It lingers just a little bit, but then it does. It just kind of tails off. Yep. So on the nose, how are you gonna rate this? Thumbs up, really enjoy it. I agree, and the taste? Mm, sideways. I agree, those kind of young notes really do yeah. kind of hit right towards the end there. And the finish? Thumbs down, I really didn't like it. I just wish it would have kept on with the front palate. Especially for a barrel proof type yep. of whiskey. All right, cheers y'all, we'll see you next time.